To be fair, I would have started taking unless I felt something was wrong. Exactly. Yeah. Unless I thought, okay, this isn't right, or you know, he's not came home, or yeah, yeah, yeah. then I'm gonna start asking questions. That's that's the way you want it to be. Yeah. You want someone to yeah, that's the way you want it to be. Then it works for both parties. I did, and a woman's intuition is never wrong. We always know. Yeah, your intuition was so good you ended up with two kids, bruv, and no husband. I could just end the stream there, bro. I can't lie, bro. Yeah. I think there's always one that would tap the other. It just depends. Like I don't know if it's girl, boy, boy, girl, but there's always one who would do it if it, if, if the other one said, yeah. Do you I have think. any female friends? There was one when I was younger, um, when I was in secondary school, but I, I wanted to sleep with her. Yeah, exactly. No, he's keeping it. He's, he's keeping it. He's keeping it real. He's keeping it real. Ben. No. <laughs> yeah, they can't. Long be story short, no. So, do you think you cannot just have a friendship with? A oh, guy I've then? got guys that are my friends. Ah! That's probably why your baby dad left you, bruv. So you got male friends and you got kids outside of marriage, bro. You, bruv, no. Why would anyone take her seriously, though? Big man, said. that is mad. That even made no sense, you know. Like, why would man want to do that? Yeah, but they want to sleep with you. No, are they talking? About? If you said, I, I bet you if you text them now and said, ah, oh, do you want to go for some drinks tonight? And you went out and then you said you want to sleep with them. Sleep with them. No, I bet they you wouldn't. they would sleep with you. But what they going no. But my guy friends. No, we're just friends. <laughs> yeah, he would. No, they no, wouldn't. They wouldn't. No, Our they mates wouldn't. would absolutely blow her back out at any opportunity they had. Facts. Facts. If she sent them a drunk text, yeah, man would be like, man would be testing the water like, right, you're drunk. Now nah, you're messing around. Now nah, you're messing around. You're not serious. Man would try to play it down. And then if they realized that she was on it, they would absolutely smash her, bro. Bro, all of her male friends have smashed deader things than her, bro. Most of her male friends probably haven't even smashed girls as nice as her, bro. And she's still like a six, bro. You know, like that. She's a six. She's what I call an adjustable six. She looks good with makeup on, but without makeup on, you can imagine she's like, man. And most girls are adjustable sixes. Like most pretty girls are adjustable sixes. That's what they are, bro. It's very rare to see girls that are sevens and eights girls that are seven and eights yeah are what people think are tens bruv do you know what i mean because they're so rare and these seven and eights are like these celebrity things they're seven and eights bro i don't believe in tens because most things without makeup are just not that pretty by default do you know what i'm saying if you need to be if if you need makeup to be pretty you can't be above an eight you can't be above an eight what is he on about? I think you're naive. It's never been anything. It's never been anything because you've not initiated it and they're too pussy to because you've been friends for that long and they don't want to ruin the friendship yep. with you because they just don't yep. have any bottle. Whereas I'd just be like, look, I fancy you, which is what I did with my one. <laughs> How did that go? Mm, not old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. Like, bro, listen, remember the um, Club Shay Shay thing with Monique, yeah? Her husband now, yeah? She said they've been friends since they was in school, bro. And he was at her wedding. She was at his wedding. And now they're together, bro. He played the long game. This is what these brers do. They play the long game, bro. There's no such thing as these platonic friendships. A man's there for you through everything. He's there for you because he wants to let you know that, yo, you deserve better. I would never treat you like this. This is what these men are, bro. These men are absolute frauds, bro. <laughs> but it's better to ask and find out. I'd rather. Well, I'd also I'd prefer it if they would ask too, because then I know that their true intention is in friendship. Bruv, she's chatting shit, bro. Listen, all women know, yeah, when their male friends, yeah, fancy them. They just don't care because they want to use these men, bro, because there's no benefit as a man. For having a woman as a friend Whereas there's a lot of benefits for women To having male friends Whether it's a man picking them up Borrowing their money Fucking the protection element Do you know what I mean? These gal can get a man to do boyfriend things Without giving them pum pum bro Because these men are moist So because of that There's so many benefits To women having male friends That they know that men fancy them Deep down they do They know deep down bro these gal always have that friend where I know I can ask him anything. Yeah, because he wants to smash you. That's why. These gal know, bro. Like, don't be fooled by them, you know. Don't be fooled by these gal. They always know which man fancy them. They always know. 
And these tend to be the brothers as well, yeah? As soon as these gals get boyfriends, yeah? They naturally distance themselves from these men because they know what it is. They literally, that's it. They literally use them for attention and validation. That is it. That is it, bro. Oh, do you want to meet up and that? Oh, let's go for a coffee and all these things there. No way, bro. If I'm not blowing your back out, we're not meeting up for no coffees. We're not meeting up for a catch up. Do you know what I mean? And them girls say, oh, how's the love life and that, bro? Listen, they want to know if you're still single just in case. You know what I'm saying? They got some itches that need scratching, bro. These things know what they're doing, bro. No, but it was. Like you can still want to be friends with someone, but I just want to sleep with her that night. You want to try? But that's it not out. friendship, then. You never viewed her as just a friend. Why can't men just be friends with women? I don't understand the problem. How many male friends did her mum have in the Philippines? She said she's only kissed her dad, and that what was the bare man around trying to be friends with her mum, bro? Why can't men and women be friends? Because we're not supposed to be friends. We're not meant to be friends. Like I said, we have a biological imperative to impregnate you. To keep the species of humans going, bruv. We're not here to be friends with you, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? This is why men can't be honest with women, bro. This is why men can't be honest with women. Because this is the honest truth, bro. We are here to impregnate you to keep the human race going. We are not here to be friends with you. Because there's absolutely zero benefit for that. And also, biologically, we don't want that. We don't want that. You're not fun. You're not fun, bro. I prefer to chill at my brethren's yard and watch Red Zone, bro. Why do I want to chill with you and watch your stupid soaps or watch your little stupid reality TV, bro? Love at first sight, bro. I don't want to watch that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I want to watch someone get punched in the head for 12 rounds, blood. Do you want to watch that with me? No, you don't. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, yeah? The main cornerstone of a friendship here yeah, is having things in common, bro. Men and women do not have many things in common. Therefore, it wouldn't make sense to be friends with them. It wouldn't make sense to be friends with these people because there's no benefits, bro. What would you do if I let you sleep with other women? Uh, I wouldn't be with you. But you said you would sleep with other women anyway. No, no, no. The, the way that I take this stuff in is like, if the girl is saying... Yeah, you can go sleep with other guys. They don't fucking care about you at all. Did you just or... say go sleep with other guys? <laughs> other girls. Are you sure? Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> other girls. Um... Hey, bro, listen, you said that you taught your girl to suck dick, so we don't really know what's going on here. You know them ones. Man said, man said he's buying that. You know them ones there, no shopping and that. It's crazy in the dunya, fam. You just never know. And that girl either has absolutely no respect for herself because she's like, oh, yeah, you make a few quid so you can do whatever you want, which is just a turn off in itself because you want a girl who's strong and respects herself. Or, or the girl just doesn't love you at all if she's saying you can So do you want to go and sleep with other women? I want you a girl that doesn't do it allow with... it. And I'd, I'd want a girl that, yeah, I want a girl that doesn't allow it, but doesn't fucking go and dig, you know? Bruv, that don't make no sense. Remember last time I told you, yeah, my biggest issue, yeah, is, yeah, when she's saying what would happen, like, if I let you, it's like, bro, you're not letting me do anything. My issue is that you think that you can let me sleep with other women. Like, you can't let me, bro, because you are not the leader of this relationship. You do not decide how this relationship goes. I do. Do you know what I mean? So that is what I had a problem with. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have an arrangement with your girl, yeah, that she's the main girl and every now and then, if you so happen to slip, trip on and fall up inside some pussy, yeah, like, it's not to the detriment of the relationship. That's not the same thing. Do you know what I'm saying? This brother's saying, yeah, that I don't want a woman that would allow me to sleep with someone else. I just want to cheat. That don't make no sense. I just want to cheat. No. Like, no. That's no. Do you know what I'm saying? That's weird. So he's like, he's basically saying, I want to do it, but I don't want you to want me to do it, or I don't want you to allow me to do it. I just want to do it anyway. What is he asking for? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you would be better off, yeah, asking, yeah, You'd be better off telling her that, listen, yeah, you're my main thing. 
I know, you're not going to love it, but bro, this is what's going to happen. Do you know what I'm saying? This is what it is. It's like this bear thinks, yeah, that sneaking around is better than just literally establishing frame and telling her that, listen, there's a possibility this could happen. It's not going to affect our relationship. It's not going to affect you. You're not in danger. Because at the end of the day, yeah, the reason why yeah, a lot of women have this issue with men sleeping with other women is they're scared of losing their man to another woman. It's not the act of sex itself, bro. It's not that. They're just afraid that he might find something better and leave them. If man says, I'm not leaving you, you're my main gal, you're the mother of my kids, but every now and then, I might smash another thing. You won't find out about it. Your position is not in danger. Most things wouldn't care, bro, if you're providing enough of a lifestyle. It wouldn't care. You know, and that's why they want the ring, bro. So if you do try and dip, I'm taking your money. You know, like that. that that's what it is, fam. I'll be real, but he's saying I wouldn't want you to be okay with me doing it, but I still want to do it anyway. It's like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, you're the one that's supposed to establish the frame. You're the one that's supposed to set the ground rules. It's like, it's unspoken. That's what I read. So she knows you're cheating? No, it doesn't know, because I'd never say anything about it. It's just an unspoken topic. That's what I prefer. I'd Man said it's unspoken, so he's a pussy old. That's what he's basically saying. He's saying, I don't want to tell you, yeah, that I want to go out and do things. I just want to do it because you're a shook you, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Man's talking about masculinity, but you can't even you can't even pattern your own missus. Man said it's unspoken. How can it ever be unspoken, bruv? You know, like that. That's weird. You know when gal just expect you to read their mind on that? Like, no, it's not unspoken, bro. If you want something, yeah, and you're the leader in the relationship, yeah, you demand it, bro. What's man talking about? Imagine if we go to war, yeah, and the commander or the general of the army says, you know what, it's unspoken, bruv. We're here now. You, man, get your guns. No tactics, just vibes, innit? You, man, go out there and see what happens, bro. No one's coming back. No one's coming back alive, bruv. <laughs> like that, no one man said no nah, it's unspoken bro we don't need to set out no ground rules and that you man go out there do you know what i mean you got your rounds and your ammunition i'll see you man back here at 3 p.m man are dead fam you know like that you're supposed to be a leader bro there's no such thing as unspoken bro you have to set the ground rules blood man said it's unspoken it's not unspoken tell your missus this is how it is you reassure her and you tell her that your danger your place is not in danger do you know what I'm saying? You're my main woman. I love you. You're going to have my kids. You're going to get the, all my money, whatever. I'm going to spend all my money on you. I'm not going to spend my money on these hoes. I don't love these hoes. I'm just chopping, bruv. That's all she wants to hear, bro. Most of these things will be fine with it. Man saying, oh, we just don't speak about it. Because you're shook, blood. Because you know if you speak about it, she'll leave you, blood. Because you're not really what you're saying you are. That's what it is. If that's what you want, then say it. I don't like it. I see a lot on the internet where it's like, oh, I make money, so I should be able to cheat. The, the woman knows it's not cheating because I'm telling her about it. I don't like that because I think if a girl really, really does care and respects themselves, then they then then they don't they wouldn't allow that. But I just don't think that a girl should be go oh, asking that, like, oh, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. I'm going out with my mates. I said, don't worry about it. Would you? This guy is an absolute weirdo. Let's go back here. Yeah? Let's listen to this again because, bro, I can't lie. Yeah, that sounded. That sounded like so much bollocks, yeah, that I thought maybe I misheard it. So we're going to go again. We're going to go again. Cheating because I'm telling her about it. I don't like that because I think if a girl really, really does care and respects themselves, then they then then they don't, they wouldn't allow that. But I just... This guy is a simp, bruv. You know them ones there? Man said if a girl really respects themselves, then they wouldn't accept, yeah, a man being honest with them. But then he's also said, yeah, that he can't resist the urge to cheat because he understands that biologically he has the urge to sleep with multiple women. He has an urge with variety. So what he's saying is, yeah, I'm going to appease you by lying to you, yeah, and telling you that I'm only going to be with you, but I'm going to smash other things anyway. What? Just don't think that a girl should be... Go asking like, oh, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. I'm going out with my mates. I said, don't worry about it. 
would you ask would you ask questions would you dig? oh yeah 100 percent. you dig yeah you're my you're my partner what so if, if your partner was just going out with his mates like for dinner you'd start digging them. no not if not if i trust you if i was with you yeah i'm digging so this brits so this brits saying yeah He don't want girls questioning him because he knows he's lying. This is crazy. This guy's all over the place. I can't even lie. He's all over the gaff, bro. This guy really is Conor Gallagher, bro. I told you, he's all over the pitch doing nothing. You know, like that, just bare activity, just bare cardio, bro. He's a mess. Like, what is he talking about? He's saying he don't want girls that ask too many questions because he knows he's going to be outside cheating. But then on the flip side, he said that he don't want girl here yeah, that would be okay with him sleeping with other girls because it means that she doesn't love him. What? Do you know what I mean? What is this guy doing, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? And the thing is with me, I don't like girl that asks too many questions and I wouldn't be with a girl that asks too many questions for the simple fact that when women question you, yeah, it, it automatically, yeah, it undermines your authority because the people that ask the questions are the people that have the power. Always. Do you know what I mean? When you get pulled over by the police, yeah, you don't ask them questions. <laughs> you know, like that. <laughs> like the police pull you over, you wind down the window and then they say to you, why they pulled you over? Do you know what I mean? They ask you, is the car, re the vehicle registered in your name? Is the insurance under your name? Can I see your license? You don't ask them shit. So when you've got a thing asking you bare questions, it insinuates that she's the authoritative figure. And that means that you're not the man in your relationship. So if you're with a thing that's asking you bare questions by default, yeah, she thinks that she's higher than you in a relationship. That's where the problem lies. Man saying, I get what he's saying. He doesn't want to cheat in okay. But bro, it's not cheating yet. Yeah, if you communicate with her exactly what's going on. He's saying that it's not right yeah, to tell your gal yeah, that occasionally it might happen. And you're the main thing. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm not going to be going on holidays with these hoes. I'm not going to be going out on dates with them. I might end up smashing something or whatever, but. Your position as my main woman, the beneficiary of all my hard work here, yeah, is not in danger. That's not good. But sneaking behind her back and smashing things is better. That's what he's saying. This guy, bruv, he, he needs to put his head in a neutral bullet, blood, and start again. I can't lie. We just would never work. No, but I wouldn't say this. Like, if I wasn't, on the, if, if I wasn't online, though, if I say this, I wasn't online, you didn't know anything about me. This was our first date, and I was just talking to you like this. Yeah. I wouldn't say to you that I was going to cheat on you. I wouldn't say to you anything like this. I'd just be with you, and just, it would just be unspoken. To be fair, I wouldn't start digging unless I felt something was wrong. Exactly, yeah. Unless I thought, okay, this isn't right, or, you know, he's not came home, or yeah, yeah, yeah. then I'm going to start asking questions. That's, that's the way you want it to be. Yeah. You want someone who, yeah, that's the way you want it to be. Then it works for both parties. I dig, and a woman's intuition is never wrong. We always know. Yeah, your intuition was so good, you ended up with two kids, bruv, and no husband. <laughs> I could just end the stream there, bro. I can't lie, bro. You know them ones there, bruv? A woman's intu bruv, women's intuition's wrong all the fucking time. That's why this world's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Man said your intuition, bro. Listen, it's true though. Bro, women's intuition is the reason why this world's the way it is, bro. Because you intuitively failed, blood. You know, like that. What are we talking about? Even the whole, the whole premise of intuition is fake. You know, what I mean? it's not real. Because if it was so real, why do you make so many mistakes? You know, them ones there, like, what are you talking about? That's crazy. Fucking hell. Oh, I thought you'd never cheat on me. What happened to your intuition, bro? What did what, what did you leave it at home that day? You know, like that. This thing, yeah. We're seeing this thing get turned on, turned on by red flags in this date, you know, and then she's talking about intuition. Bro, her intuition switch is broken, blood. Mam was talking about fighting 300 grand and you could see that she was getting excited, grinning bare teeth, and now she's talking about intuition. 
Jesus Christ. She ain't got no intuition, bruv. Do you know what I mean? It's just vibes, bro. I'm telling you. These gal out here playing Ollie Ball, bro. In 8K, you know. Swearing. Swearing that they're Ancelotti, bro. But just on cheat. Yeah. And then everyone's happy. <laughs> I don't understand. Because yeah. even if she doesn't know, subconsciously she does, her energy is going to pick up on another female energy presence. It's just not how it is. And the same with a man. A man our energy is going to... Because it's, This isn't Star Wars. What are you talking it's about? It <laughs> it's like you, a man, because of their nature, if a woman's cheating, they know. Because they can sense another male's presence. No, they can't, bruv. Do you know what I mean? She's chatting rubbish. She's chatting rubbish, bro. The only time, yeah, people, yeah, people, it's not female intuition. It's not male intuition. People are sensitive to change. Human beings in, bruv, like by nature are creatures of habits, bro. As soon as you stop doing the things that you used to do, it becomes a problem. This is why I always say, yeah, mandem, you have to set the boundaries at the beginning because you can't just switch up on things in the middle of a relationship. People don't like change. Instinctively, yeah, like human beings do not like change, bro. As soon as a man starts acting differently or as soon as a woman starts acting differently, naturally you'll be like, rah, this doesn't feel right. This is not it because we are, cre we are creatures of habit. Even our bodies... If you eat around the same time every day, your body becomes hungry around the same time every day. We can reprogram our bodies by fasting and not eating and eating later. We are naturally creatures of habit. So if someone used to text you morning in the morning, good morning text, and they stop texting you, it's not female intuition. It's just that your routine's been thrown off. That's all it is. It's not no female intuition or male intuition, bro. You know someone's cheating on you because they've got less time for you than they used to have. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not doing the things that they used to do for you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not no fucking intuition, bro. It's bullshit. You couldn't stay loyal to one person when you're getting to know them. A hundred percent could. Yeah. What do you mean loyal? It's not loyalty, bro. I always say it. Where a man spends their money... And where they protect, that's how we show loyalty. I show loyalty by, yo, if I'm ready to, if I'm willing to ride out for you as a woman, yeah, that's where my loyalty lies, bro. Do you know what I mean? I could be mashing bare things, but if a thing calls me and says, oh, Rance, I'm in trouble, so and so's done something to me, I'm right, if you're on your own, fam, <laughs> you know, like that, unless you're my girl, I'm not getting in no passer for you. You know, them ones there, that's how men show loyalty. It's like, if I'm willing to leave my yard, yeah, and come and protect your honor, you're my girl, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're just a thing I'm beating, bro, listen, you need to call someone else. Do you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's appointment only with me, bro. You need an appointment, fam. You I physically haven't. could. I just wouldn't. Oh. Yeah, of course, any man can. I'm not like that fucking whore. Why, 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 why are you so against it? Because why should I? It's like, that's me, like, simping. It's not simping, it's it respect. Is. This bro don't know what simping is, bro. Because he simped the whole show and he's saying, oh, this is me simping. Like, he just heard the word, yeah? He's watched a few Red Pill videos and he thinks that he's on the right path. But really, yeah, he's driving towards the edge of a cliff, bro. Like, he's been simping the whole video and he's saying, I'm simping if I don't go and... You get me? If I don't go out with other girls, I'm simping. No. It's all performative. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's saying. Do you know what I'm saying? He doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't even know what simping is because he's been doing it and he can't identify that behavior. This guy is just literally like, he's winging this whole thing. This is chaotic. Is you like, you said you like to wait because it shows you get respect for the woman. Yeah, I like the girl. I like the girl. But it's the same wait. for a woman. They feel respect from you. I'm not Why waiting. am I going to date you and then pursue you and then you're seeing other people i'm not no respect for you now why are I'm you going to why are you gonna expect that? me to be spending a few hundred pound a week for eight weeks Who when says i'm not even gonna... smashing <laughs> i'm not that's, even getting any prostitution pum. yeah it is it's a value exchange yeah value a few hundred pounds a week for eight weeks why do you need to spend a few hundred pound when you go out
You see what I mean? He's talking about simping, yeah, but he's saying that he spends a few hundred pounds on dates. How is that not simping, bruv? It's a value exchange. Yeah, you're paying for pum pum. That's exactly what you're doing, bro. And that's what simps do. They pedestalize women and they pedestalize the pum pum, bro. That's exactly what makes you a simp. That's exactly what makes you a simp when you pedestalize pum pum. Pum pum ain't no more valuable than what I've got in my trousers. Because at the end of the day, yeah, this shit brings life and you're the incubator, bro. You know, like that. So your thing ain't more valuable than my thing. Do you know what I'm saying? The biggest myth in society is that their thing's more, more valuable than ours, bro. Without us, there's still no life being brought into this earth, bro. We're just as valuable as they are, even though society makes you feel like men are disposable and we're not that important and we're dumb and we can just go to the military and die and all that. Yeah, whatever, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's bullshit, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not above you. They never have been. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. These men are trying to keep you weak, people. For her presence, women are... Men pay for the presence of a woman, not necessarily sexually. Pay for the presence, bro. What, are you the queen, blood? Do you know what I mean? Why should I pay for your presence, bruv? What are you bringing? What are you bringing to me other than sex, bruv? Do you know what I mean? Pay for your presence. Is man mad? This is why man stay at home and wank, bruv. Save your money. You know? <laughs> That was my talking about pay for my presence. Nah, bro, that's crazy. But women are a prize, not all women are the prize, you know. Oh my god, bruv. The only prize you're getting is a fucking headache. Nah, you're twisted. It's not prostitution, darling. No, no, I don't it is prostitution. It is, it's a value exchange. That's exactly what it is, bro. You pay to play with every woman. Do you know what I'm saying? And when women like you more, you pay less. I don't think that by, just by me taking you on a date, you should sleep with... No, 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 you're taking it wrong. I'm not saying that. I would respect a situation where I was taking a girl on a date for eight weeks and they didn't want to sleep with me. I'd respect her. I'd think, oh, do you know what? But you've you got something about me. Bruv, she finessed you, bro. Man said I'll take a girl out on a date for eight weeks and she don't want to sleep with me, bro. Bro, this guy, she hit a lick, bro. This brother, just another academics, bro. I told you this guy is just there to get finessed. I told you. I told you at the beginning. I swear. But don't expect me to be spending money taking you out. Yeah. You not giving me no pum and me being like, no, I'm not going to do anything else for eight weeks because I just really want this one. That's simping. It's not simping. It's respect. It's not respect. I'd still have respect for you. No, I'd have like... No, but she wouldn't have any respect for you. But I'm not going to tell her. But she's going to know. She's not going to know. She's, she's not going to sense my energy. As you I said. will. That exist. I sense it. You ain't sensing shit, bro. You ain't sensing shit. If you only see me once a week, like I said, I've got six other days to do what I want to do, bro. Do you know what I mean? You're not sensing nothing, bro. She thinks she's smarter than she is. Do you know what I'm saying? But if she was so smart, you know what's coming next, bro. I can play this game all the time, bro. You know, like that. Because at the end of the day, women want men for their future and men can disqualify women for their past, bro. You know, like that. This is what I'm saying. This is what it is. I don't make the rules, bro. I just play the game. Simping. You don't know what simping is, bro. To be honest, it went way better than I thought it was going to be. He seems nice. I think he's still got a bit more maturing to do, but he'll definitely be a great man one day. You know he's a simp, yeah? And he, he will pay for the babysitter for your two kids while you lot go out, bro. Because he's, he's already paid for a flipping boob job, so he'll play for a babysitter. You know, like that. This gal is an absolute fraud as well, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolute fraud, bro. But these are the dangerous ones because she dresses up like a proper lady, yeah, but really she's just like the rest of these modern women. She's just like them, bro. But he is young and he still has that childish mindset sometimes. And he's a cheat. So I can't really rate a cheat that highly. So I'm going to give him a 7.8. Get out of here, man. Do you know what I mean? Nah, bro. This girl infuriates me, bro. I can't even lie. It's infuriating. A 7.8, bro. Like, bro, she's a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's exactly what she is, bro. Gave this bro a 7.8. The bro told you that he cheats. He's a serial cheater. Women say that they like leaders. If women likes leaders, yeah, women value intelligence in men because 
to be a leader, you need to have some sort of intelligence. And that's the mad thing, bro. Even the fact that she said in her culture, yeah, that women don't do this, women don't do that. They do this, they do that. And then, bro, she's out here with two kids, never got married and stuff like that. Bro, you should have known. You should have known, yeah, that this woman was a modern woman and she was a fraud and that all this stuff that she was talking about was not real. We should have known, guys. We absolutely should have known, bro. She's absolutely finessed us.